This is an exponentials and logarithms question. Give it a go first, see how far you get, and then look through the video for any hints if you're stuck. So for part A, um, and for part B actually, the hint for these two parts would be to use the different log rules to try and break those two things apart. So, so split apart log to the base 3 of 9x, split this apart as well, and then hopefully you should be able to see a way in which to bring this in to what you have then got. So for the first one, we're using the multiplication rule. So remember the multiplication rule is log AB is equal to log A plus log B. So then this becomes, so log base 3 of 9x becomes log 9 plus log x. So the second term here, this is the same thing as a. So that becomes a. And the first term, this is just a number. So if you were to type this into your calculator, you would end up with 2, which should make sense because if you this tells you what power do I have to apply to 3 to get 9, and that would be 2. So this will then just, this will then just be 2 plus a. And then for part B, we'd use the division rule. Uh, division rule as well as the, the power law. So let's write out the division rule first of all. So if you were to have log of a over b, this is the same thing as log of a minus log of b. So then this, what we have on the left-hand side for part B, that turns into log of x to the power of 5 minus log to the base 3 of 81. So then the second term that we have here, that's just going to be 4, as 3 to the power of 4 is 81. And the first term, remember that we're trying to get uh, a in there. So a is equal to log to the base 3 of x. So then if we were to use the power rule, we can write this or rewrite this as 5 log base 3 of x. That becomes minus 4. And then this becomes 5a minus 4. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, once you know that you want to break it apart and then sub in log or a for log to the base 3 of x, then it becomes pretty straightforward. And now that we have that, part c should also be pretty straightforward. Uh, so if you weren't sure about this one, think about what we have for a and b, uh, the results for a and b. Use that in part c, and then it should be fairly straightforward from there. So log to the base 3 of 9x, we've worked that out to be 2 plus a, if again a is equal to log to the base 3 of x. And um, the log to the base 3 of x to the power of 5 over 81, that becomes 5a minus 4. This is equal to 3. And the left hand side then becomes 6a minus 2 is 3. And then uh, we can rearrange. So 6a is equal to 5. And then a is equal to 5 over 6. Now, remember that a is equal to log to the base 3x. So then this becomes log to the base 3x is equal to 5 over 6. To get rid of the log to the base 3, we can then do 3 to the power of both sides. And we end up with x is equal to 3 to the power of 5 over 6, which will then be 2.498. And that's the final answer.